Hey everybody, this is Instruction Steve again. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the changes we made in f.connect 10.10 for OpenBridge Modeler when it comes to the plan and elevation seed files. So we made some nice changes in f.connect 10.10 uh, plan and elevation seed files for OpenBridge Modeler. And I'm going to show you what those are, but I'm going to start off by just kind of going through what the 10.09 looked like. And I'm going to go into the f.connect, which is the 10.09 workspace here and navigate to where those files are stored at for now. So here's what we had before. We had the plan over elevation name boundary seed file, the plan name boundary, and then the elevation name boundary, the main ones here. So I'm going to go ahead and open those up in 10 out of 9, take a quick peek in there and see what those look like. And we'll start off with the plan elevation one. That's the main the one that we use most of the time. All right, now that the file is open, let's go ahead and take a look at what's in here in terms of the, the drawing models and the sheet models and the, the boundaries we have set up for it. So there was only one seed in here uh, before in the 10.09 workspace. That's the PE plan sheet. And then you can choose the PE plan you know, drawing models or the PE elevation drawing model here, depending on which one you're doing uh, first. And let's look at that sheet model here first, though. So with this one, the boundaries, the drawing boundaries, which control where the drawing models get pulled into the sheet model, they took up the uh, entire width of the, the page here, and even the entire height too. So if I click on this top drawing boundary here, right, this is actually uh, linked to this one here, this, this uh, detailing symbol style. So we can see this takes up the full width of the page and then goes up halfway the, to the halfway point vertically as well. And that's for the plan view up here. The elevation view, uh, similarly down here, takes up the full width of the page here and full uh, bottom half here. So this is how the 10.09 was set up. And you know there are situations where we, we do want this, where we want to take up the full width of the page uh, for the elevation view and the plan view here. But a lot of times we don't want that, right? We only want like a smaller boundary so we can put our elevation scale in down here. And just also depending on the size of our bridge, right? We might have a certain scale that fits better in a certain boundary here. So we do have some more options in the 10.10 the .10 workspace for this PE C file here. And also notice too that the, the drawing boundary detailing symbol style that was used was the default. And they just kind of got pulled off the side and they weren't really used for anything in 10.09. So with that being said, let's go look and see what we did in the 10.10 .10 seed file. Now that we have that open, let's take a quick look in here in the 10.10 .10 workspace and see what we have. So looking at the models, we now have a couple of different options, whereas before we only had one size, the large size, and that's kind of what we renamed this one here, the PE large. So if I go back to that model, the PE large in this case here, then we can see that the uh, drawing boundary is still that full top half full width and then full top half of the page vertically and the bottom one is going to be the same thing full width horizontally and then full uh, bottom half here vertically uh, the one thing we did change is these detailing symbol styles so these are now more purposeful as before they were kind of drug over here and they were the default symbol and they weren't used at all <clears throat> now these things are actually going to pull in the name of the drawing boundary so we can actually use these for our view titles so uh, you know, I would change this over here to I'll take that out. And I would say this is a plan view, right? So I'm going to type in plan, and that actually is what controls that text there. So that is one nice thing we did change. So we those detailing symbol styles are now actually using a, a, a purposeful detailing symbol style, and one that we can control the text with that drawing boundary name there. But everything else with this seed is the same, right? So that's exactly what we saw before in in 10.09. It's just renamed to uh, large, so you would use the PE plan large along with the PE elevation large, and then that would be put onto this PE large sheet model, and then that's going to be the, the boundaries, the area of the sheet that it takes up. So similar to what we saw before. The two new ones we have are going to be the medium and the small ones. So let's take a look at the medium one here. 
So this one here, we can see if I click on my drawing boundary here, this is going to be the boundary in which that plan view gets placed in. So this is going to be a little bit smaller of an area on the page. This is probably more you know, what we're used to seeing in terms of the area the, on the sheet that the plan view takes up. And same with the elevation down here. If I click on this, you can see it's the same uh, aspect ratio, the same rectangular aspect ratio of this area down here for the drawing boundary. And then lastly, we have the small one. So let's go take a look at that. And it's going to be the same thing, but just even a little bit smaller because there are cases where, again, depending on the scale, the annotation scale that we use for um, everything in the name boundaries, you know, we might have something where we want to take up even less. So this is going to be the smaller of, of the smallest of those boundaries here. So we can see this is the size of that boundary there for the elevation. And then here is the plan view boundary, same up here. So similar to what we had before, but we just have more options now. And these are things that you can set yourself with the you know, left, right offsets and the lengths of the name boundaries. You, know, you can do this stuff manually, but we just give you more options to kind of pick out of the box and, and use quickly instead of having to set that kind of stuff up yourself. So uh, going to kind of recap, PE large. That's going to be the full width in terms of our name boundaries. Let's go back here real quick. Full width of our, our sheet model is going to be the large and also the full half uh, width in terms of vertical. Medium is going to be probably the most used one just because it's more the most common size in terms of the, the area in the sheet that we want the plane and the elevation view to take up here. And then that small is this going to be what we looked at last there, the smallest one. Taking up that boundary here and here. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give it a like and make sure you subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next video.